today, Monday, March 11th, here at the War Memorial. Please stand and salute our beautiful flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Counselors and guests, uh, welcome to the War Memorial. I know that we were supposed to be at City Hall by now, but I, I guess it hasn't happened. But we do have the superintendent, or the, as I call him, the building commissioner in house, and perhaps we can ask him exactly when we should be. And it's you, it's you. We, and I know you're nicely and nice relaxed because you had a, a great vacation down south. So we're gonna ask you exactly, uh, how long is it gonna take us before, before we go back when your time comes up? Uh, you do? You did. Uh, Mr. Clerk, shall we go to agenda item number one, please? The acceptance please? of the minutes of February 25th, 2019, City Council meeting. That will be accepted and placed on the file. appointment of Daniel LaBranche of 32 DuPont Circle of Brockton to the Brockton Community Access Board of Directors for a term of three years. That will be referred to the, community, uh, to the Committee on Finance. The reappointment of James Casseri. Brockton to the position of superintendent of buildings for a three-year term. That will be referred to Ms. Councillor Cruz. I make a motion to move it because it's a reappointment. A motion has been properly made and properly seconded. All those in favor of taking it? All those opposed? So be it. I'm sure we can. Uh, Mr. Kassiri, would you like to step forward? Good evening and welcome. Uh, anything you want to say to uh, your uh, gathered friends? I'd like you to re uh, consider me for my reappointment. Um, and to answer your question on the elevator, the elevator is done. Okay. It's just going through the inspection process. Right now the elevator company is doing their inspections to make sure Everything's working properly, and once they're satisfied, they'll call the state in for inspections. But the job is actually completed. Does anybody have any questions? Council Cruz. So that you think that, the, first of all, the duty of the I'm anticipating it will pass the inspections. You know, that the elevator company likes to do it all for us because if the state comes out and inspects it and there's one little thing wrong, then, then you gotta reapply for inspection. So that would actually delay it longer. And I know that when, when we talked about this earlier in the summer, I had anticipated December, but once the old elevator was taken out, we found the shaft needed extensive masonry work and that's what extended the project to this point. So. We got the shot. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, Councilor Derham Kirk. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I should say. So, uh, good to see you. Of course, congratulations, Miss. I look forward to see the other one. But we got to the elevator. So, do you know when we will be able to go back to the chamber? Well, that's that's the point. So, if it passes inspection this week. Back in service, hopefully by the end of the week. That's what I'm hoping happens. So, Sorry, I could not and I know you have to give probably two weeks' notice for your public meeting. So, no, whatever that is, I don't know that. Hours, hours. <laughs> We've been dying. I mean, I'm to go expecting it running at the end of the week. So, we've been dying to go back to City Hall. I think I will, perp you know, purposely drive around the city and inform everybody that City Hall is back open. So, I can't wait to have you back there. My but zoning so board meetings. What's so unfortunate is that I think Susan and I, I don't know if you have, but I have, I have not even stepped in the chamber since I got here. So I think it would be a very wonderful time for all of us to actually go there and, and enjoy the, the chamber. I have a surprise for you in the chambers when you get there as well. So. Uh-oh. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you. Uh, you guys are so far away, I can barely see you. I think I need binoculars. Uh, Councilor Castro.
Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Anyone else? Can I just do a quick housekeeping? All these mics are muted unless otherwise. So if the mic is red, we're not hearing anything. Oh. There's a small button right in the front. Make sure it turns green. Interesting. Thank you. Do you want me to say it again? <laughs> Go ahead. Why don't you say it? <laughs> thank you. Uh, Councilor Ainier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Good evening, Mr. Kasiri. How are you? And, and I'm not going to uh, draw you in any such way because I don't think any of us have to. Um, I do appreciate all the work you've done in uh, the many years you've served as the uh, building superintendent, as I've been city councilor, and even the years when you were just working utility in that department as well and doing other tasks. You always were there to do everything for, uh, for everybody, and no matter how um, uh, detailed it was, you always made sure it got accomplished, and you do that even now as the... Um, as the superintendent of buildings, and uh, I do appreciate it. I do want to um, <clears throat> thank you um, for working with the, I and the city clerk um, during this past summer months to work on doing what we wanted to do in the council chambers um, and in the uh, our community, our council room as well, um, because I think it, it will make a big difference when everybody does appear there at the chambers to see that uh, um, everything is um, pretty much complete too. And I was there just last week while they were finishing the um, microphone systems and seeing what was going on there uh, as well. So um, I, I just appreciate that, and I'm sure all the, all the councils were, but uh, again, thank you for your diligence and, and through you and April and all the other members of, the, of your staff that you had working it, um, uh, it really came out good and, and, and it looks good. So welcome back and- Thank you. You got my vote. Thanks, appreciate it. I, I, it's an old East Side boy, you got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uh, Councillor. Anyone else? I make a motion for a favorable recommendation. Second. Well, actually, I think uh, a motion was made for oh. to suspend the rules and act on the uh, on the appointment tonight. Absolutely. Correct. Yes. So the question is on reappointment. Yes. And Madam Clerk, please call the vote. Asac. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Darrencourt. Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The reappointment is confirmed. Make a motion for reconsideration and hopes it does not prevail. Second. A motion for reconsideration and with hopes that it does not prevail has been made and properly second. All those in favor of reconciliation? <laughs> <laughs> See? It's, it's full All those length, in favor of reconsideration? Good. All those opposed? Thank you, Council. Yes. Appreciate it. Yes. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Council Cruz, I'm going to continue to do this as we go along until, until the joke dies down. Hmm. It will soon. Yeah. No? That's good. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Clark, please continue. Report of the Audience Committee for its meeting of February 27, 2019. That will be accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of Police Department requesting that $400,000 be transferred from full-time salaries to police overtime in order to cover general staff insurance and walking beat patrols through the year. The, fund, the funds are to eliminate the principal patrol positions that are currently unfilled. That's accepted and placed on file. The mayor recommended the same. That will be accepted and placed on file. CFO relative to this. That too will be accepted and placed we on file. We have a communication from the superintendent of buildings requesting that $10,000 be transferred from electricity and $10,000 from building and grounds to overtime due to unexpected expenses for emergency calls during the evenings and weekends due to aged city buildings, severe weather, winter weather emergency calls from fire police after our inspectional services and upkeep of heating on the Rock Stadium and Shaw Center. That will be accepted and placed on file. The mayor recommending the same. That too will be accepted and placed on file. relative to the same. And accepted and placed on file. We have the petition of Daniel Gill, Jr., of 531 South Street, East Bridgewater, for a garage license located at 12 Riverside Apple, Dr. Mass, in clerk's office, October 12, 2018. <clears throat> Hearing is signed for December 27, 2018, at 7 p.m. In council, December 27, 2018, postponed until January 14, 2019, City Council meeting. In City Council, January 14, 2019, hearing held, referred to public safety. That report was favorable. In City Council, February 25, 2019, postponed 
until March 11, 2019, City Council meeting. The question is on granting by a hand vote. All those in favor of granting? All those opposed? Oh, there doesn't, that's not what it says. The hearing, hearing was held and completed. It was sent to one of the committees. Just, <coughs> he didn't show up. Then I think it was postponed, it didn't show up, but I think maybe if we ask the council, oh, council in the cash. That was number 11? Yes. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that Mr. Hill is here this evening if anybody had any questions for him. We had already conducted a, a, a public hearing on this though, and it was referred to the Committee on Public Safety, public safety yes. and it's just coming back to us, so technically it's all, unless somebody wants to ask him a question, if you, well, I think does anybody wanna, do you wanna? <coughs> Councilor uh, Nikastro, do you want to ask a question? We can. Um, I don't have any questions, no. Okay. Well then, well then. Uh, Mr. President, could we just read the stipulations into the record then if. Well, it's a, excuse me, it's a garage license, so there aren't any. Okay. okay. All right, so. The questions on granting. So let's do that again. Uh, the question is on granting by a hand vote. All those in favor of granting? All those opposed? License is granted. Thank you. Number 12. Petition of L and L Auto Repair, Armando Mendes of 17 Middle Avenue, Braintree, for a motor vehicle repair body license, located at 12 Riverside Avenue, Brockton, and clerk's office, October 12, 2018. Hearing is signed for December 27, 2018, at 7 p.m. In City Council, December 27, 2018. Postponed until January 14, 2019, City Council meeting. In City Council, January 14, 2019. Hearing held, referred to public safety. That report was favorable. In City Council, February 25th, 2019. Postponed until March 11th, 2019, City Council. <clears throat> uh, Council on Castro. Thank you, good evening. Um, at this time, I need to ask for another postponement. I heard from the petitioner today, Mr. Mendez. Unfortunately, he had to go out of state with family and is not here. And, in, and this evening I was handed the missing information that we were looking for to complete his application. So this time I think I'd like to make a motion to postpone this until our next city council second. meeting. Motion has been properly made and properly second to postpone. All those in favor, postpone it. All those opposed, postpone until our next council meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, number 13, sir. An order in chapter 13, a purchase miscellaneous, <coughs> 14 49, panhandling, and city council, uh, July 23, 2018. Reading for the standing committee on audiences, that report was favorable as amended. All right, so we're going to do this in two parts. Uh, the first is the, is a question on grant, on a uh, question on the amendment. No, I think that's what it says on the no, next one. Right? So the question's on amended, and then the question on as amended. Huh? No, that was done. Do we want to, uh, uh, oh. Mr. Chairman? Who else, right? Huh? Uh, on the, um, on the, the amendment. The question is on the amendment. Yeah, but somebody's got to read the, the amendment. Somebody so we're, we're going to take a vote on the amendment. Do, does somebody want to, is somebody requesting to read the amendment or are we just going to go right through? I a motion to have the amendment read, please. Second. Got the amendment. Okay. Motion has been properly made and properly second. All those in favor of reading the amendment? All those opposed? <coughs> we're going to read the amendment. Oh, we're on the amendment. 13, yeah. Mr. President. Uh, uh, Council Sullivan. Uh, there was actually quite a few amendments on it. Out of the ordinance committee that evening, uh, and, and I know Attorney Resnick had incorporated that into the document. It wasn't just one simple yeah, verbiage yeah. change. There were uh, a few. The attorney said, if we give her a minute or so, she will yep. uh, pull them up and uh, go you. right through them. Yeah. 
short recess. Why don't we just take a short recess and then we'll uh, come back on here just to try to figure this out. Councils were back on se in session, so uh, Madam Clerk, could you please read the amendments? Yep, so the amendments are to include the word um, written before the word permission in subsection 2F. Okay. To strike out the words on any day after sunset or before sunrise in subsection 5. Yeah. To strike the last sentence of section 6A. To strike written notice to cease and desist the solicitation and insert in its place a fine of $100 and to strike the following language continuing through subsequent violations and then inserting in its place and a fine of 200 for the second violation and any violation thereafter in subsection 6A. To insert the words by the Brockton police in subsection 6A after the words of this order. To strike number 15 and insert in its place 25 in subsection 2E. To insert the following after ATM, machine, bank, and or financial institutions in subsection 2E. To insert the following language as subsection 2I in city-owned buildings or on property operated by the city of Brockton, including but not limited to public schools. To insert the following language as subsection 2J within 25 feet of any houses of worship or churches within the city of Brockton. Those were the only amendments. All right. I believe the question is on passage to a third reading by, as amended, by a hand vote. We adopt. All right, so we just have to vote on the amendment first, and then we could pass it as amended. Okay, what did he say? I'm sorry, would you repeat that? That it has to be. I, I believe we just have to take a lawful vote to accept the amendment that council just read. Right. Then we could pass it to a third reading as amended. Right. But is it under hand vote? Yeah. It was a hand vote, sure. All right, well, the growing pains continue. The uh, question is on the amendment by a hand vote. All those in favor accepting the amendments? All those opposed? The amendments? Carry. Now the question is on passage to a third reading as amended by a hand vote. All those in favor of passage to the third reading. All those opposed? It goes to a third reading. Number 14, sir. Okay. An, audit, an ordinance amending chapter two of the revised auditors. We are hereby ordered that an ordinance amending chapter two of the revised auditors, auditors dated February 12, 2018, be amended by inserting G at the beginning of the text whereby the entirety of said <clears throat> an ordinance amending chapter two of the revised ordinances shall be a continuation of article 13, section 11-211, and shall be inserted into section 11-211 as <clears throat> subsection G to continue after subsection F relative to article 13, motor vehicle repair. In city council, November 13th, 2018, Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable. The question is on passage to a third reading. At, by a hand vote, all those in favor? All those opposed? The, amend, uh, the uh, order carries. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances dated February 12, 2018, to revise second entitled amendment to delete the reference in the first line to section 11-211 and to insert in its place section 11-214. In City Council, November 13, 2018, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance, that report was favorable. 
And the question is on passage to the third reading by a hand vote. All those in favor of a third reading? All those opposed? The question carries. Number 16, sir. Order that the sum of $7,800,000 is appropriate to pay costs of making improvements to the city's wastewater treatment facilities, including the payment of all planning and engineering costs and all other costs. Mr. President, and related. out of respect for the city clerk, he's already read this many times. I'm going to make a motion to waive the reading. Second. Second. Motion has been properly made and properly seconded. All those in favor of dispensing of the readings? All those opposed? Thank you, Councilor. <laughs> in City Council, January 28, 2019, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. In City Council, February 11, 2019, motion to refer back to Finance Committee and was properly seconded. Motion carried by a roll call vote. That report was favorable. In City Council, February 25, 2019, passed to a third reading by a hand vote. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? <laughs> yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order. In order to fund the agreement between the city and the Brockton City Hall Administrative Services Union regarding compensation and physician reclassification study, the City Council authorized the appropriation in the amount of $42,000 from the Stabilization Fund to various departments as part of memorandum of understanding for the period of 7 one to 6 19 between the City of Brockton and Brockton City Hall Administrative Services Union. <clears throat> Scrivener's error on the above order, originally Brockton City Hall Employees Union, corrected to read Brockton City Hall Administrative Service Union. In Council, January 28, 2019, <coughs> excuse me, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. <coughs> Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? <coughs> Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? <laughs> yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order an order amending licensing and business regulations for marijuana businesses, section 1.009B2 of the licensing and business regulations is hereby amended. That will be referred to the Committee on Ordinance. Amendment of zoning map for parcel ID 161-095-235 East Ashland be it ordained pursuant to section 27-5 of the city ordinances, the zoning map, whereby reference is made to an incorporation of said boundaries of each of the zones established as shown on the map entitled the City of Brockton, Massachusetts Zoning District Map dated November 10th, 1967, and thereafter amended that said map be amended to reflect the following zoning change, parcel ID 161-095-235 East Ashland Street, I current to C2 zone. That will be uh, referred to the Committee on Ordinance. Ordered that the common necessity and the convenience of the inhabitants of the City of Brockton require the laying out an acceptance of Cottage Grove Avenue, extending from the end of the 1967 layout of Wooded Avenue, southerly, a distance of about 322.27 feet, more or less, and for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said city of Brockton. That will be referred to the Committee on Real Estate. Ordered that the City Council, acting on behalf of the City of Brockton, for consideration of one dollar. Can, can I make a can I make a point, if I might, Mr. President? Uh, Ms. Uh, right. Council Ioneri, that item should be going to ordinance. Um, excuse me, should be going to finance and planning. That's an acceptance of a street to become a public way. Wouldn't be going to ordinance. Can do that. You 
could do that or we could do it. That's how we've always done it. I don't think it's something new this evening. Uh, Council, I think uh, what we might want to do is just to kind of vet this out at real estate. Why? I, I, I want to know what the it said on paper. I want to know the explanation of why we would have vetted that's what it out said, real estate. That's what it said on the paper. That's all. What time? But did, did it come down from Mr. Newton that way? I don't think so. I, I if met with a, him and the DPW commissioner in regards to it. Through, through the chair, if there's a question on it in real estate, real estate can refer um, to the other committees. Point of information? I can't go from committee to committee, though. Uh, uh, as, as go someone, ahead, Council Lally. As someone I'm on real, I, I still have the floor, Council Lally. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm on real estate. That's fine. But what I'm saying is we've never done that before. It's, it's the same as he's done 25 streets in the last two years. And what have we done? We've gone to finance and planning. Now, all of a sudden, this is going to go to real estate. So we, we can just change it to that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you know, Mr. President, go ahead, Mr. I just want to echo the sentiments of, uh, of the dean. Uh, that is the, the procedure that we follow in, in relative right. to street acceptances. Council Lally, you concur with that, correct? I do. It Thank just you. goes to Finance and Planning Board. Correct. Just a Scrivener's error. Thank you. Or in a form of a motion. All right. You, you want to make that a form, a, a form of a motion that we send this to, uh, to Finance and Planning? I will, Mr. President. Second. I make, I make a motion that we send this to Finance and to Planning. Second. The motion has been properly made and properly seconded to send it to Finance and Planning. All those in favor? All those opposed? To Finance and Planning, it shall go. Thank you. And I'll cross this out. Okay. There we are. 21. 21. Order that the, the Brockton City Council, acting on behalf of the City of Brockton, for consideration of one dollar, is hereby granted an easement to Massachusetts Electric Company, a Massachusetts corporation, having its principal office at 46 M Road, <coughs> Waltham, Mass., for the purpose of unrestricted 24 hours a day, seven days a week, year round, ingress and egress by persons, equipment, or vehicles of various roads from the public way to access grantees' electric facilities, whether now existing or here and after installed, located on certain real property abutting the grantors' land, which abutting real property is now known as Zero West Elm Street, Brockton, Massachusetts, and identified as Brockton Assistance Parcel ID 091-004, to provide electric service to set up buddy real property and others, and further that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to execute the grant of easement and to make other action necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of the same. That will be referred to finance. We have an appropriation in the amount of $400,000 from full-time salaries to free solar time. That will be referred to the Committee on Mr. President. I'd like to um, take uh, number 23 in the suspension of the rules and act on it tonight as Mr. Kier, Mr. Kasseri is here tonight. Yeah. 23. Yeah. Good. Read it then. Number 23. Yeah, read it for us. Let me read it. Go ahead. Okay. An appropriation in the amount of $20,000 from public property purchases of services to public property overtime. A uh, motion has been made for us to suspend the rules and take this item tonight and also act on it tonight as well. All those in favor of suspending the rules and act on it tonight? All those opposed? We shall suspend the rules. I believe uh, that the building commissioner and my colleague is here. This is just to supplement our overtime to make sure we don't run out. We've been using a lot of it this year and with the addition of the Rocks and Shaw Center, that's uh, eaten up quite a bit of it, and I anticipate using more there. So. Move favorable. Questions to the uh, commissioner? Uh, should I call you commissioner or just building superintendent? I am a building commissioner, but my title is superintendent. It should be building commissioner slash superintendent. Uh, sure. That's a different matter. <laughs> slash. Uh, anybody, anyone have a question for the uh, superintendent? No. Right. The question is on adoption by a roll call. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Thank you. 
Make a motion for reconsideration. Second. And Second. Does not prevail. Motion has been made for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration, all those opposed? Reconsideration I'd fails. Like to thank you all again for tonight. I appreciate it. Get that elevator rolling. <laughs> Good night. Qu 25. Resolve. 24. 24. Resolved to invite Captain John Hallisey, the chair of the Traffic Commission, to discuss with the City Council the situation with illegally parked cars on residential streets and as to why, during the latest snowstorm, that enough was not done to address this issue and why, when contacting the police and the non emergency number residents were told that oftentimes supervisors were not available. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. All to invite Matthew Dyer, representative of Urban and Community Forestry, again, to inform the public about the Free Trees program that will begin in the spring. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. For the agenda available in their entirety for review in the City Clerk's Office. Thank you, sir. Uh, Councilors, uh, Council Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to remind members of the Ordinance Committee, uh, we're having a meeting this Thursday, which is the 14th of March, 6 o'clock. It's at the Unknown School in the Auditorium. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Council Sullivan. Councilor Borgart. Thank you, Mr. President. A moment of personal privilege. You may, ma'am. Okay. Um, the CSX planning uh, proposal, open house. <coughs> This is the old railroad um, and, uh, yeah, you know, yards, uh, you know, that have been functioning since the 70s. And uh, we, the public is invited. The doors open at 6 p.m. And this is at the Broughton Main Library, 304 Main Street. There is parking on White Ave in two lots. And, again, it's 6 to 8. And we're hoping that people come learn a little bit and definitely um, provide input on all this. So thank you. Wednesday, the 13th. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Councillors, I just want to let you and the public know that I'm going to be absent from the Council for about 10 days. I'm actually going to overseas for a small little mission that has to do with some community things that I've been working on and also my um, work-related functions at the Archdiocese. I'm going overseas to do some training for uh, the, protecting, the protection program that the Catholic Church runs. So um, I'm going to be gone for about 10 days, and I've asked uh, our immediately, immediate past president to <coughs> step in and help us out. Hopefully you uh, will be at the, uh, at the chambers. If not, I will probably end up at the Arnone School since there's a little echo in this place that says, Everybody's so far away, it's kind of hard on the ice. So I'm going to be gone for 10 days, but you guys have to behave. I know we've had some uh, minor issues in the past with some behavior, so I ask you all to uh, behave and remember why we're here. You know, we're here to do the business of the people, and noting that there's no further business of the people. Mr. President, tonight. I just I wanted to have a moment of personal privilege. I wanted to uh, recognize and thank the Brockton High School Drama Club. They're doing their competition play, uh, and they, they've got through the first round, which is, I mean, the Drama Club is unbelievable. They've got through the first round. And then on a personal note, uh, I coached Brockton Community School basketball this year, Team Northeast and sixth graders. Uh, we were in last place at the end of the season with one win. We won two playoff games, and we played in the championship yesterday at Brockton High School. I'm not a great coach, but those boys and girls on the team worked very hard. We ended up losing, but I just want to, I know they're going to watch tonight. I just want to recognize them, and it's, it's what Brockton's all about, working hard and, and working as a team. So I just wanted to echo those sentiments. Thank you, Counselor. Thank you. And keep up the good work. I hope. <laughs> Perhaps next year they'll win the whole thing, and then we can call it quits. Having any more or any further business of the peeps? Anything else? The meeting is adjourned.